we do here is go back, 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 back. the VTuber police. I'm here to keep the VTubing community safe from toxic VTubers. If there's a VTuber doing something cringe, then I'll bring them to justice and send them to cancel court. On today's episode of VTuber police, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of VTuber news channels. And I'm using the word news lightly because most of their videos are just compilations of tweets, artwork, and drama. They're like drama alert, but for weeps who can't distinguish the difference between a 2D drawing and an actual child. So instead of referring to them as news channels, I'm gonna refer to them as what they actually are, which are commentary news channels or news aggregation channels. Now, I don't think these channels are committing felony charges with their content. They're more like misdemeanors. So I'm just gonna be giving these channels a few citations here and there. So keep that in mind as we move forward. These channels typically upload at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day, depending on how active everyone is on Twitter. Usually you can expect more uploads on a weekend because that's when most of the kids are out of school. So of course there's a lot more drama posting. And more drama means more recycled content to upload into the YouTube algorithm. They can't help but do the exact same thing as every other commentary channel. Let's start off with the type of coverage they consider to be newsworthy in their videos. A lot of them will show off artwork of popular VTubers thinking that that's the reason people come to their channel and watch their videos because they want to see the latest picture Ina drew of herself. Not the case at all. No one gives a crap. If they wanted to look at artwork, they would just go on Pixiv for that in their free time. What they need to do is talk about something that is interesting, informative, or gets people excited. Has the YouTube sensation iDubs debuted as a VTuber? Or is one of his fans stealing his content ideas and impersonating him as a cute anime waifu? Keep watching to find out more. Another thing they do, which they really don't have to, is to constantly read every tweet they show on their screen word for word. Now bringing us this news. Over the past 24 hours, bad actors have been coordinating off Twitch to target women and LGBTQ plus members of our community with spammy and hateful chat messages. Hate has no place on Twitch and we've identified and suspended the Twitch accounts of the individuals participating. It's like they think if they read the entire paragraph off their screen, then and that's going to keep the viewers' retention rate in their videos. Now, don't get me wrong, you can absolutely read some of the tweets you're covering in your video, but if you're doing it on every single tweet you're showing on screen, then it kind of feels like you're just trying to take up time in your video for more ad revenue. So Nana's was streaming on an alternative Twitch account where she played the audio clip of that Yandere girlfriend ASMR video. She got bonked by the Twitch police and is on suspension for the next seven days. It says, so I was streaming on my alternative Twitch channel. <sighs> Look, I get that it's hard to make your videos longer, especially since you need to make your video be at least eight minutes long so you can be eligible for mid-roll ad breaks during your videos. But if you aren't keeping the viewer engaged, then you're going to eventually have them click off the video or skip only to the parts that they care about because no one gives a s if you want to keep your viewers engaged and maintain a high viewer retention, then you need to talk about something that's relatable. In other news, this VTuber tweeted, I'm horny on their main account. Do they have a not safe for work alt account that we don't know about? Find out after we return from this commercial break. Now, I'm not saying that you need to talk about VTubers being horny on main, but it does help in creating buzzwords for your video titles. Speaking of which, some of these channels really need to work on their SEO. I can tell they're all trying to rank up in the search engine with certain keywords, but there's a fine line between writing interesting titles and then writing what looks like it came out of their spam inbox folder. This channel looks like he had his thumbnails made by the same guy who created those early 2000 pop-up ads. 
Another thing I noticed about these channels are that they only talk about popular VTubers, which is totally fair because nobody gives a shit about a random indie VTuber. But then you see stuff like this. Which now leads us to Vivi at Vividly ASMR, a friend of the show. If you aren't with the big agency, have a high following on Twitter, or are friends with them, then you won't get talked about in their videos ever. And they make it incredibly obvious about this fact too. We had Setsuko tweeting last night I hit 10,000 followers on Twitch. Huge congratulations to them for reaching 10,000 followers on Twitch. Congrats to the VTuber I have never heard of, but I'm now only hearing about because she hit a huge follower milestone. Oh hey, if you want to include me in your news coverage, I hit over 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, but I'm sure I don't qualify because I haven't hit your obscured follower threshold on Twitter or Twitch to be considered newsworthy. Hmm, now where have I seen that before? 2k followers is under my threshold. Three days ago is within my threshold. Long streams, which is good. See if you have redeeming, redeeming qualities. Okay. All followers combined still under 5k, even across multiple socials. I was trying to be generous. Oh, and there's the re-roll. Here's the reason, chatter babies. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. All right, it's time to do some news research on the TL. Oh, this could be interesting to cover. But let's just take a look at their following just to be safe. Ah, yep, look, see, they don't pass the news check. That's too bad. It was a good tweet. Anyways, let's go see what Neander's is up to. Yep, that passes the news check. You know, these kids remind me of myself when I first started my YouTube journey. I was making videos teaching people how to be a VTuber, doing terrible stream highlights, pretty much anything that was trending so I could get a slice of clout cake too. It's hard, but it's not impossible to grow on a platform if you use a little creativity. For example, you could talk about something that is a little controversial. This just in, this famous Hololive VTuber said the N-word. Is this going to be the end of her career or just the beginning? Let's find out. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, But Maui, I don't want to get cancelled. And that's a pretty hard challenge to overcome, especially when you're a small creator. But there are tons of different ways you can make a news commentary video about controversy controversy without getting cancelled. Like, take a look at this channel, Rev Says Desu. He made a news commentary video about anti-culture and how it's becoming a problem in the VTubing community. A lot of small creators constantly get attacked if their VTuber model has no booba or is drawn with a certain art style. This is a legitimate problem that more people need to be aware about and you can definitely cover this topic from a journalism's perspective. People like watching others talk about controversial topics. It's entertaining and it gives people a reason to engage with your videos by commenting their own opinions on the subject. When all you do is talk about the same VTubers like a typical celebrity gossip magazine, then you're not really giving your viewers any reason to engage with your video other than to just leave a like and saying generic comments like this. Uh, such lovely people in this episode. Here's to wishing everyone the best. That is going to wrap up this episode of VTuber Police featuring so-called VTuber news channels. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mari Yume and I will see you again in the next video. And now a word from our sponsors. I'm <laughs> just kidding, there are no sponsors, but I would like to say thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting my channel. It's thanks to all of you and everyone who subscribes that I can continue to make amazing content for all of you full time. Who should I cover in the next episode of VTuber Police? Let me know in the comments section down below. I look forward to seeing you all again on my next video. Bye-bye!